You'd like to use raw therapy as your raw processor, but you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then maybe this tutorial is for you. Sushi and fries. Okay, so first we'll go to the raw tab and there in your sensor biometrics, you can click the chromatic aberration uh, correction. Next, I will be going to the transform tab, go to the lens and geometry tool, uh, profile lens correction and check the auto correction. So this will get rid of all your m distortion. Now this image is still a little bit tilted, so you can go to the straighten tool, just click it once and then draw a horizontal line. Basically I'm following the horizontal line of the building and he will recognize that as a horizontal line and turn tilt the image accordingly. Done that, you go to the white balance. You have in the color tab, you have different presets, uh, the camera white balance and automatic white balance, uh, several presets like daylight cloudy, etc, etc. You have a spot white balance tool where you can click on a gray neutral area in the image and he will, raw therapy will take that in order to uh, decide on the white balance and you have the sliders. Then next go to the expo exposure tab, exposure tool, click the automatic exposure. It does a very good job, meaning um, that the histogram is nicely spread all over the place. Reset, if you want to do it by hand and not automatically, you need basically the exposure compensation and the black sliders. The exposure compensation, uh, with that you want to uh, pull the histogram until it reaches the right edge and with the black slider you want to pull the left part of the histogram trying to reach the left edge. Now you have a well exposed image. Next, we'll be using the lightness, the contrast and the saturation sliders. The lightness makes it darker or brighter. The contrast adds or subtracts contrast. Finally, the saturation slider adds or subtracts saturation. Once you finish the settings in the exposure tab, we will go to the details tab where we will do noise reduction and sharpening. For the noise reduction you need to go, in order to really see it, you need to go to 100% view. You can see, especially in homogeneous areas like the sky, now I'm going even closer in 200%, you can see uh, color noise and luminance noise. I would set the quality to high, turn the noise reduction on and then just you can see that the chrominance is gone, the noise, and then you can pull the luminance slider up until you get a noise-free image. Now remember, the more you pull it up, the more noise will be gone, but the more also fine details will be lost. So it's a kind of a balance thing. Uh, once this is done, <clears throat> go to the we'll go to the sharpening, uh, turn the sharpening tool on. Uh, it's a very subtle effect. I like to do something like uh, 1.2 radius around 1.3, and sharpen only edges, without and with sharpening, a very subtle sharpening, but it's enough, I think. This is the final image. We have basically uh, corrected the distortion, uh, corrected the tilt, the exposure and the color and contrast and all within three to four minutes.